here we got the Xbox 360 HD DVD drive as you can see it comes with King Kong HD DVD what most of you don't know is you can actually use this drive on your computer and it works as a HD DVD drive in this tutorial I will show you how you do that it also comes with a universal remote first off you start by taking everything out the box I already did that step so don't worry about it next you take the USB cable plug it in the back then plug it to your computer next you take the power cable plug that into a socket and you plug it in the back of the Xbox DVD player next you will see Windows start to install the drivers if you have Windows Vista it should install it automatically if not you should go on the internet and search for the Xbox HD DVD drivers As you can see, your device is ready to use and the drivers are installed successfully. The next thing you will need is a program where you can actually play HD DVDs. I recommend you using Cyberlink Power DVD version 7.3. As you can see, I'm taking King Kong HD DVD that came in the box and sticking it in the DVD player. I do not have an Xbox 360 hooked up or anything else like that. And it goes loading. This is my first tutorial, so bear with me. There you go, that's what you need to get right there. If you don't have the money to buy it, find it somewhere and if you was wondering this is a 24 inch HP W2408 high definition my video card is a GeForce 8800 GTS 640 megabytes Processor AMD X2 6400 overclocked to 3.4 gigahertz. And I also have 3.5 gigs of RAM. So as you can see, I've successfully hooked up the HD DVD player to my computer. It's not that hard. On my first try it took me about three hours only because I had to find the software and everything. So for you who didn't believe it's possible, 
it is possible. My resolution is 1920 by 1200, which is higher than 1080p. Before you actually go out and buy the Xbox HD DVD player, I recommend using Cyberlink's advisor to see if you can actually run it on your computer. As you can see, it's a couple of tests that they go through. RAM and everything like that. So if you get all green, you're good to go. And your video connection must be digital with HDCP, meaning VGA will not work. So there you go, and it's the end of my tutorial.